has a lot more to do with theater than I thought it would. Well, I thought I was Spencer was nominated. I really like Spencer. I finally reached that stage of my career, I guess you could call it late middle age, when I'm playing late middle aged people. Um, but uh, and, and it's a role that feels very foreign to me in many ways. I've never, I, play, I very rarely play Americans. Uh, my exemplars and my inspiration have infused this production with a spirit of joy. So unless you're lucky enough to possess a greenhouse, the entire notion of a winter garden was completely off the table. It's you all the way into town. It's your sweet hello, dear, that sets me on. Yeah, Hugh Jackman, I don't say this lightly, is an angel. He's, he's one of the most extraordinary people where it's impossible to say anything bad about him because he is that good. He's a beautiful artist and a beautiful man who has taken such good care of this company. He and Sutton both have been the unofficial mother and father. They plied us with cupcakes, bagels, lottery tickets to, to keep morale up during this strange period of COVID where you know our ranks were literally decimated some nights, but they have been a constant source of, of inspiration and joy. It's you. Yes, it's you. Oh, yes, it's you. Yes, and to be reunited with a living, breathing, gasping, laughing audience after this long drought uh, has been more moving than a lot of us anticipated. First preview, the curtain came up and you know the Iowans marched forward. We burst into tears backstage and had to do everything we could to compose ourselves to carry on with the show because it was that extraordinary to hear an audience again. Yeah. Preparing was fairly easy. I had a strong connection to the character a little bit, so preparing for a little bit, it was fun. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.